You're listening to the Third Coast Gridiron on the LSG Network with your host, Mark Henry. The stage is set. The second season is here. No more Mr. Nice Guy. It's time to step up. You can either be one and done or you survive in advance. It's the high school playoffs here in the state of Texas and definitely in the H. A lot of big games going on starting tomorrow, heading into the weekend. If you don't take care of business, you're going home. Are you going to be playing and practicing on Thanksgiving? That's to be seen. The first round of the high school playoffs are kicking off. This is the Third Coast Grand on the LSC Network. I am your host, Mark Henry. Lots to talk about playoff-wise. We'll talk about a few games uh, from the final week of the season that kind of set things up for the playoff picture and kind of put everybody where they are now. Also, we'll talk playoffs. Big time, favorite time of the year, right here on TCG, the Third Coast Gridiron. We'll take a small break and come back and talk a few scores from the final week of the season. Then we will dive into the playoffs. We'll be right back. With open enrollment coming soon for Medicare, ACA, Obamacare, and small group plans for businesses with less than 100 employees, If you're in need of health insurance solutions, look no further than HAP Insurance Agency. Yes, HAP Insurance Agency is a fantastic resource right in the heart of College Station, Texas. Whether you're in retirement, a business owner, or simply looking for the best health coverage option, HAP Insurance Agency has got you covered. You can find them in College Station at 1551 Greens Prairie Road West, Suite 101A, or give Holly Pritchard a call at 972-897-0814. That's HAP Insurance Agency. Do you have a party coming up or just want a special gift? Check out Nani Sweeter Side. Yes, Nani Sweeter Side makes the most amazing custom created sugar cookies with your design. They also offer paint your own cookies and decorate your own cookies. Those make an excellent sweet activity that you can sink your teeth into at parties. Nani's also offers some of the most amazing cupcakes ever. You can check out Nani Sweeter Side at NaniSweeterSide.com. That's N-A-N-I. Check her out on Facebook. Just look for Nani's Sweeter Side. Or give her a call at 937-499-4790. At Nani Sweeter Side, you'll find that happiness is homemade. few scores from the final week of the season before we head into playoff talk. Fulcher gets a big victory over Foster 70-13. to This is their first undefeated season in program history, and they take home the district title in 10-5A Division One. Listen, shout out to those guys. They had a monumental season, 10-0, 8-0 in district. They'll be the number one seed heading into the playoffs. Uh, Davion Godley, Patrick Broadway, each scored three touchdowns rushing for the Chargers. Deuce Barrington had a phenomenal game, connected on a couple touchdown passes to Tate Strubble and Zane Smith. Shout out to those guys for a big win. They'll be a team that you might want to see in the playoffs that can make a run. Shadow Creek over Strake Jesuit 38-7. They clinched the share of the 23-6A title in a big, big victory. Listen, I think the Sharks are a team that you don't want to see in the playoffs, and we'll talk about that more as we talk about games here uh, towards the end of the show. They get the district championship, uh, which they've won the five out of the past six years, going back to 2018. Big, big win. Dickinson 42-0 over Clearbrook. Willis in a big victory over Oak Ridge, 49-35. to They get the 13-6A title. Uh, this is one of the top-scoring offenses in the Houston area. Uh, a state-ranked team led by, of course, DJ Lagway, the Florida commit. Uh, but there's some guys on offense that have been playing phenomenal for Willis this year. Jermaine Bishop, Jalen Mickens, DeBron Hampton each had touchdown grabs, and Mickens also had two interceptions one that turned into a pick six. They'll head to the playoffs in a big matchup with Nimitz uh, Friday. Uh, Nimitz is an 8-2 team coming in as well. This will be a big, big 
game, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. For Oak Ridge, they do survive and get to the playoffs as well. They had a big season this year, finishing 73-6-2 and and in their district, and they'll be headed to the playoffs. Katie gets a big victory over Katie Taylor, 49-3. Klein Collins finishes the season strong with a big victory over Klein, 23-14, to actually – clinch the district title 15 6 a that is and head to the playoffs as well and we'll talk about that in just a little bit porter over barbers hill in overtime 27 to 21 now this keeps barbers hill from getting a share of the district title in 8 5 d one but porter played phenomenal they earned it man shout out to peyton evans pickens uh he scored a 12-yard touchdown that was the deciding points in the game as Barbers Hill goes down, but they'll be a playoff team. We'll talk about that in just a little bit as well. Clear Falls over Clear Creek, Clear Creek, uh, twenty-eight to thirteen. Belleville over Sweeney, forty-nine to zero. Columbus over Hempstead, forty-one to zero. Listen, Columbus is a very, very good team down in three A, uh, Division One. They get an undefeated season. Uh, they're also a state-ranked team. Uh, this will be the uh, the seventh time in program history that they finish the regular season unbeaten. Uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, we talk about the larger programs as far as the six A's and five A's, but this is a very good program uh, in the Houston area that's playing phenomenal. Um, they're ten and zero, four and zero, and they'll head to the playoffs with some momentum with a big victory over Hempstead, Lake Creek over Brenham, thirty eight nine to twenty one, Friendswood over Magnolia West, forty eight to forty seven. What a tight game! That puts Magnolia West in the playoffs. They'll face off against Madison in the bi-district round. What a game. Shout out to Friendswood for getting the victory. Magnolia West is also headed to the playoffs, and they are playing a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, brand of football. Tough game, though. Uh, but, uh, you know, they'll face a tough Madison team, so we'll talk about that uh, towards the end of the show for the playoffs. Uh, Bryson Broadway, who's been playing great for Magnolia West, threw five touchdown passes uh, to the chase lot, and he rushed for another one. And Braden Smith had two field goals to help Magnolia West get the victory. St. Thomas is ranked number one in taps. They get a victory over Antonio Prep, 42-28. to uh, Johan Cardenas had four touchdowns on the night. They are undefeated, 4-0. and in district and 10 and 0 in, in uh, the standings for the entire season. Shout out to those guys. They've been playing phenomenal over there. Shout out to Coach McGuire. A uh, really good football team. And we'll talk about that when we get to talking about the playoffs here in just a bit. We'll pause for a small break and we'll come back and talk about a few playoff matchups here around the H as we get ready for the bi district round. We'll take a small break and be right back. Hey, did you know volleyball is the fastest growing sport in the country? Yes, volleyball is exploding. And so is our coverage of volleyball. Starting in a couple weeks, the High School Volleyball Coaches Show will launch. It's going to be by myself and Mick Haley. Mick Haley, if you know volleyball, you know him. He's won a national championships coaching UT volleyball, won national championships coaching USC volleyball. He coached Olympic volleyball. You name it, he has done it all. And what we're going to do, we're going to talk to the top high school volleyball coaches in the country, not just Texas, the entire country, and it's going to be great. The High School Volleyball Coaches Show coming to you very soon. Looking to boost your company's marketing? Look no further than Fresh Media Works. Podcasting is the best way to promote your brand and increase your customer base. You can create your own show, be a guest on other podcasts, or advertise on existing podcasts to reach a valuable audience. Don't wait. Start elevating your marketing game today with Fresh Media Works. Call now. 713. 713- 269-4620 or find us online at freshmediaworks.com slash podcasting. Before we head into playoff talk, man, shout out to Episcopal for winning the SPC 4A crown over the weekend over Kincaid in a big rivalry game that decided the state championship 35-25. to 25. 
Shout out to those guys. Shout out to my guy Mad Morgan over there, who's one of the top linebackers in the class 2026. Shout out to Carson Gordon, who recently just committed to UCLA. He was a uh, UNLV commit, and uh, he just committed to uh, UCLA. He's quarterback, one of the top quarterbacks in the class 2024. But they got the big victory, man. Uh, to get their eighth conference title, uh, first since 2019. Uh, Great program over there for those guys. Big win uh, as they got a victory over Kincaid, uh, you know, 35-25. to Carson Gordon again played a phenomenal game. Uh, First play of the game, he takes a run and goes upfield for a 75-yard touchdown. Explosive, explosive player at the quarterback position. He's also a top triple jumper in the nation, not just in the state, in the nation. Shout out to my guy Carson Gordon. Been watching him for a few years, and he's blossomed into uh, a phenomenal player. But uh, he was a catalyst and one of the reasons Episcopal got that victory to get that state championship. Those guys played great. Shout out to those guys. Uh, Again, Episcopal over Kincaid in the SPC 4A state championship 35 to 25 now let's talk about some playoffs we'll start with the taps playoffs first uh, a couple of big games of course uh saint pius and saint thomas they both have uh buys in division one concordia and lutheran takes on uh Northern catholic uh now the funny thing about it is Northern catholic's been winless on the season but they make the playoffs very weird but uh lutheran comes in at seven and three should be the favorite in this game uh, to uh, move on to the next round of the playoffs. The Woodlands Christian takes on Austin Regents. That should be a decent game. Now, Woodlands Christian is only 3-7, and seven, uh, but those three wins helped them get to the playoffs. Uh, Fort Bend Christian takes on Austin Hyde Park. Lutheran South takes on San Antonio Christian. Second Baptist takes on Brownsville, St. Joseph. Uh, Division three matchup, a couple of games, Cypress Christian, they earn a first round bye uh, with a 73 record, and Bay, Bay Area Christian takes on Shirts John Paul in a big matchup in Division Three. A uh, couple of more games here in Taps that we'll be taking a look at: Northland Christian and the Bronzeville Academy. That's a big game as well, and Rose Hill Christian versus Monster uh, Sacred Heart. So uh, you know the big guys, the, you know the St. Thomas. St. Pius, those guys got a first round bye uh, due to winning their districts. Uh, I really think that St. Thomas is playing phenomenal. Uh, Johan Cardenas and uh, my guy Dante Lewis over there, two seniors that are leading that charge. Those guys are playing phenomenal. Also, linebacker Tyler Day, who recently committed to Rice, is one of the better linebackers in the state in the class 2024. Uh, he leads that defense over there. Coach McGuire's got a very, very good team. Uh, they've been one of the best teams here in the state uh, over the last couple of years. In this group, that 2024 class at St. Thomas is leading the charge. Uh, they came up short in the semifinals last year. I know that those guys are really focused to get back to the state championship. Uh, this is a very, very good team, one of the best in the state. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how things shake out. And I think they're, they're poised and ready to make a run. Um, um, this is a big 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 time for those guys uh i know coach mcguire is, is telling these guys hey let's get healthy let's get right uh, you know they're using the bye week to kind of shore up some things and get ready for the next round of the playoffs there'll be a team that's going to make a run i definitely look forward to uh seeing what st thomas is going to do but let's take a small 30 second break uh we'll come back and we'll talk uh playoffs here in the UIL that was the TAPS playoffs of some of the teams in the Houston area that will be making uh, playoff appearances in the by district round but we'll start to talk about some of the guys in 5A and 6A who are making by district uh, playoff appearances that I think uh, have a chance to come out of Houston uh, in the region three uh, because region three is is one of the most uh, uh, challenging and uh, competitive uh, areas in the state of Texas. So we'll talk about that and more. Quick break right here on TCG and come back and talk by district playoffs. With open enrollment coming soon for Medicare, ACA, Obamacare, and small group plans for businesses with less than 100 employees, if you're in need of health insurance solutions, look no further than HAP Insurance Agency. Yes, HAP Insurance Agency is a fantastic resource right in the heart of College Station, Texas. 
Whether you're in retirement, a business owner, or simply looking for the best health coverage option, HAP Insurance Agency has got you covered. You can find them in College Station at 1551 Greens Prairie Road West, Suite 101A, or give Holly Pritchard a call at 972-897-0814. That's HAP Insurance Agency. Hey, did you know volleyball is the fastest growing sport in the country? Yes, volleyball is exploding. And so is our coverage of volleyball. Starting in a couple weeks, the High School Volleyball Coaches Show will launch. It's going to be by myself and Mick Haley. Mick Haley, if you know volleyball, you know him. He's won a national championships coaching UT volleyball, won national championships coaching USC volleyball. He coached Olympic volleyball. You name it, he has done it all. And what we're going to do, we're going to talk to the top high school volleyball coaches in the country, not just Texas, the entire country, and it's going to be great. The High School Volleyball Coaches Show coming to you very soon. Let's Talk 6AD1 will start in Region 2. The Woodlands comes out 7-3 and and Spring at 5-5. and That'll be a Thursday kick at Woodford Stadium. I think that the Woodlands is probably the favorite in this game. Of course, uh, we've had uh, Cornell Farrakhan Jr. on a couple of weeks ago. He's one of the leading receivers on that team. Of course, maybe Matire, who got a little banged up a couple of weeks ago against uh, Willis. I think he should be fine and ready to roll. I think the second-round matchup, which we expect to shake out, is going to be very interesting. You'll have the Woodlands. Uh, who should be the favorite to get past spring. And then Klein Collins takes on Cypress Ranch. Now, this won't be a game that Klein Klein, Klein Collins needs to look over, but I think that Klein Collins has to make up if they can get out of this region to make a run to state. But there's some challenging uh, matchups for all of these teams here. But Klein Collins takes on Cypress Ranch. Of course, they're led by Western Kentucky commit uh, Tucker Parks. Uh, he's a guy that can get hot, and he's been playing phenomenal. They only got one loss on the season. They won the district outright last week uh, in a big victory over Klein. Uh, I think that's an intriguing second-round matchup. Of course, in this bracket, you have Westfields taking on Conroe, who uh, won in the last uh, week to get to the playoffs as well. Uh, but Taji Atkins uh, for Westfield is one of the best running backs in the state. I look for him to be a guy that's going to be at the forefront of being successful for Westfield. Uh, Westfield's usually there, uh, one of those teams that's coming out of this region the last couple of years. In uh, the other matchup on the other side, you got Bridgeland and Klein Kane. Kane's a team that's battle tested, but Bridgeland is coming in at nine and one. Is one of those teams. This is probably, in my opinion. One of the toughest brackets in the state. Uh, The thing about Houston is it's this region in itself. But this is Region 2, which on the other side of that region uh, includes some teams from the DFW area. Uh, So if you can get out of Region 2, you really got a tough haul. That means most likely you're going to be facing uh, the Duncanville Panthers defending state champs in that other side of the bracket to come out of Region 2 in the Region 2 final. Uh, Westfield was that team last year, and they gave a pretty good fight against uh, Duncanville in that particular round. So, uh, I mean, these are games... These are games that you definitely, if you got a chance to pull up on, you can see. Uh, I think the next week these these matchups are going to be really intriguing and really interesting in 6AD1. Uh, Region 3, you got Cy Fair and Bel Air. Uh, I think Cy Fair is probably going to be the favorite in this game for sure. Uh, I think that they're playing very well. Uh, Katie against Travis. Of course, we know Katie. And then check out the rest of these matchups. North Shore Deer Park, Shadow Creek, Clear Springs, Lamar at 10-0 against Jersey Village, and Ridge Point and Tompkins. Again, Region 3 is loaded. Uh, I think this is one of the best regions in the state with Katie, North Shore, Shadow Creek. An undefeated Lamar team is going to be very, very good and tough out. And then you got Ridge Point. Uh, but that Rich Point Tompkins game is a very interesting matchup. Two teams that are kind of right along the same level um, as far as it goes with the winning ways that they've been done recently. So um, I think that this region three and six AD one is one of the toughest in the state. Of course, you got North Shore, who's uh, you know going to have to probably come up against uh, Katie eventually or Shadow Creek and then Lamar as well. So this is a very tough, tough region to get out of. You come out of this region, you got a very good chance to go to state. 
Also, Doby and Tascacita and Dickinson and Pearland. Tough. I mean, when you talk about high school football at its, at its highest level, this Region 3 is loaded. Uh, Tascacita is coming off a tough loss to Summer Creek last week uh, in a big rivalry game. So they're kind of licking their wounds a little bit. But, I mean, this is the time of year when usually Tascacita gets hot. But facing a pretty good Doby team there and Dickinson on the other side with Pearland, those are some really, really good first-round matchups. Um, definitely, I mean, if you're in that area, man, you definitely need to pull up to these games. I think these will be some exciting contests to uh, kind of – I really hate to see these guys play. It's almost, you know, you kind of see them kind of hate to play, see them play in the first round. Uh, you know, these are matchups that you'd like to see in the second or third round, but it's just not the way it shakes out. Uh, but, you know, with realignment, there may be some things coming up in February – uh, but most of these teams will probably, since they're in the uh, same areas, they'll probably stay in those particular districts. Uh, I, de- I definitely hope they keep the North Shore, Sea C- King, and Tascacita, um, and Summer Creek in the same district because that the, those teams seem to come out of that district every year as one of uh, some of the better teams in the area. Now let's talk about 6A Division Two: Willis and Nimitz. Very intriguing matchup. Of course, Willis is 10-0. Uh, they're the number one seed coming out of that district. Uh, Nimitz had a phenomenal season. Uh, it's a scary matchup, but I think that Willis, you know, they are the creme de la creme coming out of that region. Um, in that particular matchup, I think uh, they they get the dub. I think that DJ Lagway is playing at a high level. Some of the best football he's played in recent years. Uh, he's got so many weapons on that offense. That would be tough to stop. Uh, but uh, Nimitz is a game team. I think defensively they've shown that they can hang with the best. Uh, this is a 7 o'clock kick uh, Friday at Yates Stadium. Willis will be the home team. Uh, Tom Ball Memorial takes on Cypress Springs, DeCaney Oak Ridge, and you got Cypress Falls and Tom Ball all in Region 2. Now the difficult thing about Region 2 is the other side of that bracket. Uh, they'll fa- face off against teams probably from the Dallas area up north. Uh, when it comes down to the regional final, uh, but this is a tough, this is a tough district. There's nothing here that says that you know right now. You know, shaping up. If on paper you looked at at this region, Willis would be the favorite. But there's nothing in st- set in stone that they can get out of this region. It's going to be tough. They're going to be, uh, you know, they're going to be a team that's, you know, they got through the rest of the season unscathed. But coming into the playoffs, it's a totally different animal. Everything's about matchups when it comes to the playoffs. So, uh, you know, Region 2 and 6A Division 2 is very, very tough. Uh, some very good teams here. Uh, be interesting to see how these uh, second and third round games match up out of this region. Let's talk about 6A uh, Division 2, Region 3. Again, we talked about Summer Creek uh, getting a big victory over Tascacita, so that moves them up to the number one seed coming out of that district uh, in 6A D2. Heights takes on Memorial 7-3. You have Dawson and Clear Creek, uh, Stratford and Westbury, and then you got Katie Taylor and George Ranch. Some interesting matchups. And then at the bottom side of that bracket, you have Fort Bend Hightower taking on Jordan C. King taking on Channel View, Strake Jesuit and Clear Falls. So Hightower is probably going to be one of the favorites to come out of this particular region. I think that Summer Creek's going to have something to say about that. And then C. King's a battle-tested team as well, coming out of that district with North Shore, Atascacita, and Summer Creek. So, uh, you know, the last couple of years, those teams have come out of, come out swinging. Uh, we're talking about Summer Creek and C. King. Now, the new kid on the block is Jordan. Shout out to Jordan. I've been talking about them, if you go back uh, on the show the last uh, few weeks, as a team to get to the playoffs. They got they draw a tough first half match, first uh, game match in the body district, district round with Hightower who's coming in with one of the most talented teams. But if anybody can pull an upset, I think it's Jordan. They got the talent to do it. Andrew Marsh, uh, Zachariah Sample, Colin Willis, and those guys have uh, some of the best playmakers uh, in the Houston area. So this is a game that that you probably should keep an eye on. Uh, I think that Heights in the uh, matchup above them uh, gets past Memorial. That's a talented team. Shout out to Coach Dixon over there. Uh, at Heights, they, they've been a playoff team for the last few years. But some very intriguing matchups, uh, you know, out of the second round here with some of these teams in Region 
three, uh, six A D two. Let's talk about five A Division One. Of course, we talked about Barbers Hill losing that game in overtime. They take on McKinney North out of the DFW area, which is a very good team. Longview and Porter. Porter draws Longview. Uh, of course, they have one of the best running backs in the country in Taylor Tatum. And then Laporte takes on a tough Lancaster team out of the DFW area. Those are some intriguing matchups. Uh, this is what happens when you, uh, you know, this region too. All of these teams, uh, except for Longview, are from North Texas. Uh, and so that's going to bring in that uh, Dallas versus Houston matchup, which is very intriguing. Of course, Barbers Hill is going to host McKinney North. And Laporte's going to host uh, Lancaster. Those are two matchups that I think that you should keep an eye on. Um, Longview, of course, uh, if you've ever been to Lobo Stadium, one of the uh, bucket list type stadiums that you'll see, uh, that's a tough draw for Porter to go up and face a team that's going to be very physical. They love to run the football. Taylor Tatum's going to be, uh, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be hell to stop. Uh, so Porter's got their hands full. Um, that's a tough region to come out of. Of course, you know, on the other side of the bracket, you got some teams from uh, North Texas and East Texas coming out of that. But I think that, uh, you know, in this region, Longview is going to be the favorite to come out. But do not be surprised. Uh, I've seen the Lancaster team coming out of North Texas. They have some, uh, you know, very, very good athletes, very tough in the trenches. They're battle-tested coming out of a tough district. So is McKinney North. Uh, in that same district. So, uh, you know, it, it just depends on the matchups. When the playoffs, you, nothing's in stone. you got to look at matchups. But coming out of that region, I like Longview. Uh, let's move down to Region 3. you got Galveston Ball taking on Angleton, Fulcher, and Waltrip, Magnolia and Sterling, and Madison and Magnolia West. Now, on, on paper, I would think that Galveston Ball and Fulcher would be the two teams to come out of this, this particular uh, region. And I still think that uh, they're heading for a matchup that should be great. Uh, now, last year, Galveston Ball was undefeated at this particular point of the season, and they lost in the first round. But I think, uh, you know, Galveston Ball is definitely uh, – they're changing the guard over there. Uh, Jonah Williams is one of the best players in the state, in the country, in the class of 2025. Uh, definitely think that those guys get, get past Angleton, full sure get past Waltrip. So on the other side, you got Magnolia and Magnolia West. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this region. I think it's probably one of the most uh, difficult, uh, tough districts that you'll see uh, in that particular bracket. At 5A Division Two, Region Three is one of those regions that definitely you want to keep an eye on with Lake Creek taking on Needleland. Lake Creek's undefeated, one of the top-ranked teams in the state of Texas. Randall takes on Fort Bend Marshall. Should be an intriguing game. Randall comes in at 91. They're making their uh, playoff appearance for the first time. And you got Texas City. They're a very good team taking on Huntsville. Uh, you know, this is a big, big matchup uh, for Huntsville. Um, Texas City is one of the better teams in this region. Don't be surprised if Randall has a really good chance against Fort Bend Marshall. But, uh, you know, Fort Bend Marshall has been one of the favorites that, uh, you know, around the state that people talk about coming out of this region. Definitely an interesting matchup, to say the least. Now let's talk about 4A Division One Region 3. I think that you've got some guys in here that can make some noise. Bay City taking on North Forest. Kilgore out of East Texas is taking on Livingston, which they should be the favorite there. Now the Yates-Needville matchup is interesting. I had a chance, shout out to uh, Yates. Uh, I had a chance to see them on a couple occasions this year. Uh, saw them up in North Texas where they looked uh, like a totally different team compared to now. Uh, they lost to uh, Dallas Carter 65 to nothing, but I was at the district championship against Worthing over the weekend, and Yates looks like a totally different team. Let me tell you, they have one of the best players in the state in Jaquan Brandon. He's a class of 2024 athlete, and at the next level, he'll probably be projected in the slot uh, wide receiver. But he's playing the quarterback position for Yates, and he's that guy. Uh, this is an explosive athlete who can get it done. Uh, he had a couple of touchdown runs that you wanted to see that were highlight real type runs, uh, super quick, can take it the distance. Uh, you know, he lined up and took a couple of screen passes as well. Um, college coaches really need to take a look at this guy. He's, uh, you know, a high GPA guy. 
Uh, he can come in and make some plays at the next level. Uh, shout out to Coach Thomas and Yates over there for turning that season around, finishing 8-2. and two. Totally different team. I think that Needville is going to be a challenge for those guys. But I think if anybody can pull the upset, it's Coach Thomas and Yates. This will be a game that you need to keep your eye on. Now, the Worthen Colts end up winning that district. They face El Campo. And listen, Worthen is one of the most talented teams that you'll see coming out of the HISD ranks. Uh, I think that they get past El Campo. Um, they'll be facing a talented Iowa Colony team who's undefeated and will be taking on Fur. Uh, they're ten and zero on the season, Iowa Colony, and they they got some really good talent over there. I think that's a really good, intriguing match, second round matchup with Worthing. Uh, if that you know shakes out, but Bay City is a good team as well. But Kilgore coming out of East Texas is a team that definitely can make some noise. But in that particular bracket, uh, I think that Worthing has a shot. I really like what I saw from those guys uh, on Friday night against Yates. Uh, they had they put up uh, 50, 50, over fifty points. They're explosive, so don't be surprised how these matchups shake out. Uh, you know, I, I like Worthing. I like what they're doing. And don't be surprised if Yates gets a win as well, coming out of Region 3 uh, in 4A D1. A couple of more games we'll look at in the 4A ranks. Sealsby coming in uh, 4A Division 2, Region 3 against Sealy. Belleville against West Orange Stark. Columbia takes on Jasper. And then you have Hampshire Fennett against Brookshire Royal. Sealsby's probably going to be to come out of it. They're, listen. One of the most talented teams, regardless of classification that you'll see. Um, talented super group over there. I think that they come out of this region and, uh, you know, they have a chance to go all the way to state. I like what they're doing uh, coming into Region 3 and 4A Division 2. A couple of more teams that we'll talk about. We'll go to 3A here. We talked about Columbus, and you have Hitchcock. Hitchcock's taking on Little River Academy, and then you got Columbus and Rockdale. I think that's going to be a great second round matchup. These two programs are phenomenal. Hitchcock's nine and one, and Columbus is ten and zero in the season. You definitely, definitely want to check out this second round matchup. It's going to be full of fireworks. I think that both of these teams are talented, and they're both ranked in the state in three A. Uh, so, I mean, everything about the playoffs is matchup. This is what you want to see. Um, you know, if you're playing after Thanksgiving, that means you had a pretty successful season in a couple of weeks. Uh, by that time, we should be uh, in the third round of the playoffs midway through. And, you know, some of these teams that we talked about today should probably have a chance to make it that far. But, uh, you know, this is the favorite favorite time of the year for me uh, when you come to talk about playoffs. Uh, you know, get your popcorn ready, man. Uh, you know, get your jackets, your hoodies ready. It's going to be some weather involved, some some colder temperatures as we progress through the playoffs. And uh, TCG is going to lace you up on all of the things playoffs going forward all the way up to state here on the Third Coast Gridiron on the LSG Network. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Third Gridiron myself on Twitter at markian 44 or on DeMarc Sports. Uh, follow us at TXTP Show on Instagram and Twitter as well. And on Instagram at Mark underscore Hen 44. That's M-A-R-C underscore Hen 44. We'll be right with you next week, man, right here on TCG. We'll holla. Gio. Looking to boost your company's marketing? Look no further than Fresh Media Works. Podcasting is the best way to promote your brand and increase your customer base. You can create your own show, be a guest on other podcasts, or advertise on existing podcasts to reach a valuable audience. Don't wait. Start elevating your marketing game today with Fresh Media Works. Call now. 713-269-4620 or find us online at freshmediaworks.com slash podcasting.